police took a new approach on a block they know very well. Aaron Maben is in the newsroom for us with an effort to curb crime before it happens. Hey, Aaron. Hey, Ted. This is one of the first times we're seeing Operation Summer Guardian up close this summer. It's aimed at tackling gun violence and connecting with young people. We are out here handing out door tag flyers for Operation Summer Guardian uh, in some of the most troubled areas where they have a lot of crime and gunfire. It doesn't just take police to change a block. Or, you know, we have a lot of elders in the community. Elizabeth Brown says it takes a village. Because if we don't, who's going to? Near 26 in Burleigh Wednesday morning, police, volunteers, and neighbors join forces. It's so important because we're bringing awareness to the reckless driving. We are doing a neighborhood cleanup. They took the trash out and left a message behind. We need everyone to get involved to deter a lot of this gunfire in the neighborhood. Officer Keith Garland is part of the department's community partnership unit. Operation Summer Guardian is designed to combat gun violence. This summer, there's a focus on child safety. A lot of people are for it. A lot of people are recognized that they have to do their part as well on top of us, and we all have to work together. Police say this area is on their radar because of an increase in shot spotter calls. Officers are urging neighbors to speak up if they see violence. We also want to just make sure that our youth are seeing this and being good role models to the youth, give them uh, opportunities to, uh, to grow. Everyone out here wants to turn things around. We're just out here trying to promote peace. And they know it takes a village to get the job done. If everybody knows everybody, I know your child, you know mine, they're less likely to be acting up. Oh, we're just going to continue. It doesn't stop here. It does not stop. Milwaukee police say neighbors have been receptive. The program's full impact this summer isn't clear quite yet. The Milwaukee Police Department hopes to hold two more of these events in other neighborhoods this month. Ted? Aaron, this is sort of the broken windows theory of police work, you know, where you fix the broken windows first and people take pride in their area. I know there were volunteers, but was it infectious? Did people come out of their homes and go, what's going on? Can we help? Or is that what they're hoping eventually to get yeah, to? Yeah, eventually they hope to get that, too. Uh, you know, people absolutely did come out and connect with the community, and that's the goal of this project, to connect and have those conversations with people who live in these neighborhoods that are seeing a number of shootings and violence. Ted? Aaron Maven in the newsroom, thank you.